Hey, this is the Lord of Dino 4 doing Let's Play Portal 2. Um, last time we were going to jump down there, but I've been having to do this no, over nine times now because of technical difficulties. So, um, don't be surprised if I get mad in this because I've like been having technical difficulties like once fraps wouldn't work, my freaking system for um, uh, recording this, like the um, whole audio thing didn't work. So. And then there was one time that I just pretty much uh, started recording with a bad timer, which, I don't know. Well, let's get down there, get this started, you know, let's have fun. All right. Well, I know, I know. I have let's painted go. quite a grim picture of your chances. Good luck. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. Why is there a broken VCR right there? These provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and She's emergency so testing here. will begin in three, two, one. What? What about emergency like life support, man? Like, I bet I'm breathing in the same air over and over again. There's probably, like, nothing keeping me from dying of carbon dioxide poisoning. Nothing. So, go through here. Oh, look. Sweet. Pew, wee, wee. This is the first level of the game, and it's, like, the first level of the last game. It's interesting. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. <sighs> okay. Well, that's a very grim description. Um, well, let's try it out. <sighs> I don't know if I should, but... Ah! I, knew, I knew that would happen. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get out of here. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through it. Gosh, that was scary for a second. I thought the whole thing was going to collapse. So, scary. Scary. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your tablets. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Oh, okay, that's a grim thingy. Let's just save the game right now so that if I ever need to come back, record from here, that we can do that. All right, let's go. Okay, simplest thing ever. Press button number one. Which has already been pressed. Go through portal number one. Grab button. Exit portal number one. Press button number two. Take button. Go through portal number one. Put it on button. Exit portal number one. Press button number three. Go through portal number one. Exit testing chamber. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Wow. Well, let's go through the- Ah, my ears! Oh, God! They're melting! Ah, this is- What is this white stuff? Ah, I'm dead. Just kidding, let's go. I thought that joke was called for in this Let's Play. I feel like someone should have done that earlier. But I probably just ruined it in that moment. Whatever. Whatever. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. What? What do I do? Oh. Dang. It's a giant leopard king turret. What does that thing even shoot? It's like frickin' mortar rounds or something? 
Hey! It's my dealer. There should be a <laughs> portal device on that podium over there. You got my fix? I see it though. Maybe it fell off. Is that where my Can fix is? Alright, let's go. Leroy Jenkins! Ow! Maybe. Your life would be better without me, dude. Then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Okay. All right. Brilliant. Go team. So I'm. Shut Wheatley. I'm trying to explain this. Okay. So I'm presuming that this is a mural of glass being created with all the scientists and their dumb cut hairdos and these orbs I'm guessing are uh something like I don't know those little sphere thingies that are on her and I'm guessing this is a picture of her killing everyone with neurotoxin gas and apparently this is the rat man worshipping the companion cube because it talks to him and stuff um this is Gladys offering me cake, which never happened, by the way. And that's an awfully good drawing of a piece of cake, by the way. Um, don't know how that. Oh, and there's the Rat Man with the companion cube again, holding it, giving it sweet, sweet loving. Um, and here is um, Gladys, some stars, Rat Man, and the portal gun. And then finally, a beautiful picture of me. Beautiful, beautiful more uh, mural. All right, well, let's get that gun. It's sparking. That does not look safe. Whatever. It wouldn't be a video game if we didn't take chances. All right, it works. Didn't explode when I used it. Yes. Let's do this. Do it! Okay. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Grievance? If the turret shoots you in the, soul, uh, in the shoulder, it's not a grievance, it's a hate crime. I mean, seriously, that turret is like... Even if it says it's not, whatever. Yeah, this next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Okay. Well. Let's do this then. Okay, get that. You know, I always wondered, why do turrets always act so childish? Like, they're murderous monsters, but they have, like, the voices of little tiny children. They're like, Hello. I don't hate you. Apparently you do, because you're shooting at me. Jeez. Okay, so. Get this. Like a boss. Mmm. Make sweet sleep love into that button cue. Mmm. Yeah. You know you like it, button. Oh, yeah. Okay. Enough of the perverted stuff. Let's just get on. Great work. Because this message is pre recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. Alright. Nine or so minutes in. Yep. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well, what happens if it actually, one of those holes right there that goes through the roof actually starts 
raining fireballs. I mean, that'd be that'd be pretty bad, right? That'd probably ruin my hair, more or less. Yep. There we go. Final cube. Okay, this is these are some awfully simple tests. I mean, there are some levels later well in this done. game that are just the bosses that remind you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All aperture science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic Hold on. power environments. Okay. Of its view as 1.1 volts. Okay, sorry about that, guys. I'm going to edit that out in the uh, final selections. Um, I mean, final editing because of uh, my dad wanting to ask me if I want to go get some pizza, and I will get pizza. Pizza is the most this awesome next sauce ever. the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Wouldn't that just be fun to have this game with uh, out gravity? That would be awesome sauce. Like if we actually could play Portal 2 without gravity. Sweet. It makes solving some of these tests a lot easier. Like a boss. Okay, watch this, watch this, watch this. Okay. Be cool if I could just like drop this and shoot a portal down there and hit it exactly right. Probably wouldn't happen though. Hey, where's the bu Oh, there's the button. If you are a non employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, Testing is the future, and the future starts with you. I heard that, um, heard that the Rat Man was actually an important part of the behind the scenes of this game. Never really got around to looking into it. I'll get more into that on a special Let's Play episode. Alright, watch this. This is going to be boss. Yeah, like a boss! Yeah, oh, Not like a boss. Like a s fail. <laughs> and finally... Boom! Test done. Ow. Test not done. So hard. <laughs> okay. Now, yes. Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, Jeez, if you are so grown, how long was I or out? radiated in such a way that the radiated. future should not start with you? Please <laughs> return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. I heard that radiation poisoning is really, really painful. Like your skin starts to boil and stuff, and you turn all red, and then you, well, you die. To ensure not really that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey, I heard that that's... I mean, not heard. I know that's like really, really low. That's a, not very much voltage at all. That's less than what your cell phone runs, runs on. So anyway, guys, I'm just going to save right here. We're going to continue in the next episode. I got to go get me some pizza. Yeah. Hey, comment question. Who uh, who likes pizza? And if you do, what kind? All right, viewers. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.